إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يحدنه فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد as we come to a benefit inshallah ta'ala we just want to take some time to benefit before the prayer right yes we want to take some time to benefit before what the prayer before the prayer bismillah so all praise is due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we praise him we seek his aid and we seek his forgiveness we seek refuge in allah from the evil of our souls and from the evil of our actions. Whomsoever Allah guides, then there is no one to misguide him. And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads, leaves to go astray, then there is no one who can guide him. Right? There is no one that can guide this person. So we mention, and I bear witness, that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. He is alone without any partners. And I bear witness that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his servant and his messenger to proceed. So we want to mention a benefit in regards to raising children. As you are from amongst the children, inshallah ta'ala, ya Abdullah. You're going to be up to in age pretty soon. You're reaching 11, bi'ithnillah. Inshallah ta'ala. So we want to benefit ourselves, right? We want to remind you and to remind all of us and to remind the youth with regards to raising children. Right? With regards to instilling in the children the remembrance of Allah. Right? right? Telling the children to remember Allah. With instilling the children to fear Allah, to worship Allah, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? This is something that is incumbent upon all of us. Oh. Yeah. Something that is incumbent upon all of us. Yeah. Right? Is to remind ourselves also and to remind our family we find in the noble quran which contains all good and success for us wherein wherein allah mentions beneficial stories such as the story of luqman luqman the wise and his beneficial an important advice to his son. Luqman the wise is mentioned in the Quran, Ya Abdullah. Right? And he was mentioning, he was reminding his son. And also from the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he instilled into his cousin, Abdullah ibn Abbas, the creed of Tawheed. So I'm trying to remind you about this affair of Tawheed, Ya Abdullah. Naam? Naam. It's Tawheed. Tawheed is to single Allah out. Look. To single Allah out in worship. Yeah. To single Allah out in worship at Tawheed or Luhiyah. Say Tawheed or Luhiyah. Tawheed or Luhiyah. Tawheed or Luhiyah. Tawheed or Luhiyah. It's to... Okay. 
حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله نعم so this advice in instilling the Tawheed and his son Luqman advising his son so I want to advise you and to remind you, Ya Abdullah. Yeah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase you. I mean, yeah. look, man, the wise advised his son. Yeah. What did he say to his son? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in the Quran, وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَان لِأَبْنِهِ لِأَبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِذُهُ And when Luqman spoke to his son, when Luqman, he spoke to his son, he was admonishing him. Luqman, and when Luqman spoke to his son, he admonished him, he reminded him, he gave him some advice. So I'm advising you, Ya Abdullah, the following is the beneficial advice that Allah related to us from Luqman the wise. He said to his son, Oh my son, ya bunayya, la tushrik, la tushrik billah, la tushrik billah, inna shirk la dhulmul azim. Oh my son, do not commit shirk with Allah. For indeed, shirk is a great dhulm, it is a great injustice. And what is dhulm? What is shirk? Shirk is to associate partners with Allah. Say, Shirk is to associate partners with Allah. Shirk is, shirk is to associate partners with Allah. Shirk is, is to, associate to associate partners with Allah. Partners with Allah. Right. Shirk is to worship other than Allah, to associate partners with Allah. Right. This is shirk. So look, man, he was advising his son. Right. Oh, my son, do not commit shirk, for indeed shirk is a great zulm. It is a great injustice. That we as Muslims, we only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Right? We don't worship no one else. There's nothing that deserves to be worshipped except Allah. Tayyip? So he mentioned, so it is mentioned, be careful of associating partners with Allah and the worship of him. Be careful of associating partners with Allah, yeah. such as يعني, such as supplicating to other than Allah. So be careful about this, to supplicate to someone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tayyip, barakallah fiqh. So the message of, uh, is, and it is mentioned, and when the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was, was sent down. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا, ولم يلبسوا إِمَانُهُمْ بِظُلْمٍ and it, and it was said, those who believe, and they do not confuse their belief. They do not confuse their belief with dhulm, with dhulm, with injustice, with shirk. They don't. Worship, they don't associate partners with Allah. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَا يَنْبِسُوا إِيمَانُوا بِظُلْمِ It is those who believe and confuse not their belief with dhulm, with injustice. Okay. And it is mentioned, Ya Abdullah, a few minutes inshaAllah. So it is mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Ya Bunaya, O my son, do not commit shirk, for indeed shirk is a great dhulm, a great injustice. And then it is mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, O wasayna insan bi walidayhi, and we have enjoined on man to be dutiful, 
and good to his parents. His mother bore him in weakness and hardship and his and his weaning was over two years. Give give thanks to me and to your parents and to me is the final destination. And we will come back, inshallah, we will mention some other benefits bi ta'ala with regards to these to these points to this issue. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh